Okay, here is the next uh, image. Take a moment to take a look at it. You'll notice that what we really have on the screen here are basically exclusively what look like red blood cells. And we also see a couple of platelets in, in this particular smear. And I want you all to focus in on this uh, blood cell here that has a speckled uh, pattern to it um, overlying it. I'm, I'm already seeing one correct answer. And so this is the, the point where you all should be, um, go ahead and putting it in the chat. Beautiful. And folks are giving me the right answer. And as well as some of the underlying etiologies, you're absolutely right. This is basophilic stippling. So now that I've told you basophilic stippling, please put in the chat, what are some diseases that can lead to the basophilic stippling pattern? I'm seeing lead poisoning. Beautiful, beautiful. Sideroblastic anemias, B6 deficiency. Lots of correct answers in the, in the chat. Um, so I'll just advance and zoom in. The top picture here is exactly what you all were saying, basophilic stippling, which is associated with many of the things that you all put in the chat, which is sideroblastic anemias, lead poisoning, um, myelodysplastic syndromes, that's what MDS stands for, as well as thalassemias. But really on the examination, I'm going to point you in the direction of lead poisoning and sideroblastic anemias. The reason that the um, red blood cells have that speckled pattern to them is because um, when you have a sideroblastic anemia, for instance, with lead poisoning, in which you have inhibition of ferrochelatase and ALAD, um, the ribosome components build up and they get stained. The correlate to this is the picture in the bottom. If I told you this is a bone marrow um, uh, stain, what would be the name of this finding? What would be the name? Beautiful. Yeah, so that would be the ringed sideroblast. Ringed sideroblasts in the bottom there.